Hopefully you've seen the Cut This, Polish That episode of cutting a Euro seam on a CNC saw. Did you know how they programmed it? Today, I'm going to walk you through the programming process. In order to get the Euro seams to come out correct and accurately, you must first set up your machine properly. Run your calibration program and make the needed adjustments so that the transition between the saw blade and the router bit are perfect. And now, we'll make the program. Lay your parts out on your sheet as normal, ensuring that you have enough space for the saw blade and the mill bit. There are no specific settings for the saw blade or the mill bit, but we will be making a second pass with the mill bit the same mill bit, but slightly different settings. So I just copied my mill bit, called point 8, and added the name spring to it for the second pass. In the tool parameters for the second pass, I've increased the feed rate and the depth per cut. Because the second pass will only be cleaning up what the first tool may have left behind. I'll start creating the program as normal with my desired settings in Auto Toolpath. And then, after the blade cuts are applied, I'll choose Incremental Router, verifying that I have the correct mill bit selected. And then, as normal, I'll select what I want to cut, which side I'd like the router bit to be, and then right-click to cut the whole line. And I'll repeat this process for all cuts to be made with my incremental router. I can also see that my parts are spaced far enough away because my incremental router toolpaths are not crossing each other. I can also see that the correct mill bit was used in the order of operations. And then before I make my second pass, I'll choose the second pass mill bit and make that active. Then I'll go back to Incremental Router to apply the second pass with the second tool parameters. Verify the second tool is selected, and then apply the cuts as normal. The second cuts should land exactly on top of the first cuts, but with a different color. And here again we can see the additions in our Operations panel. And everything else is normal. Always move your mill bit operations to the top so that they'll be cut first. Extend your cuts and any other thing you normally do to send the G code to the machine. Thank you for watching. Now you know what I know. One more thing. Did you know that we have hundreds of resources available on our website for machine training and service? To find them, go to parkindustries.com. Thank you for choosing Park Industries.